Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So professions are something the Blizzard have planned to put a lot more effort into with Legion and I've already taken a look at gathering stuff so today we're going to be seeing what crafting is like. I'll be doing that via blacksmithing though it's safe to assume that the other crafting professions will be uh, following a similar enough sort of blueprint. So we've just learned blacksmithing and this has immediately given us a quest called Strange New Ores, which tells us to go and obtain 10 laystone ore. Now I'm going to need to mine that, so I will also need to take up mining, which I'll be doing concurrently in this video, but it's the exact same as the herbalism process, so I'm not going to be um, showing up the leveling for that. Basically, as long as I've got a mining pick, I can mine anything out in Legion, even though I'm level one in mining, so that's pretty simple, and once I begin to mine ores, I unlock quests, which allow me to mine those ores a bit more efficiently, but that really is it. Anyway, I'm going to go fetch that laystone ore, and we'll see how this goes. Okay, just for completeness, here's some laystone, so as is the case currently, I can just, you know, right-click on it, mine it. Pretty simple, um, and this is actually giving me a laystone stone seam sample. This is just involved with me leveling up my mining skill. Anyway, I'm going to go farm up this stuff, and I'll catch you in a bit. Well, with all the ore gathered, we've got a whole bunch of things which we can give back to the mining NPC. I'm going to do that so that I can more efficiently mine these various different ores. Obviously, if I'm trying to level up blacksmithing, that's uh, going to be pretty damn uh, useful for me. Right now, i found that these are actually really, really quick. As far as how much you, um, it actually just takes to level them up, I'm pretty sure within getting, like, 30 of or 40 of a particular node, you can almost be at level 3 for it. Um, but anyway, here we go, strange new ore, so we'll hand in our laystone ore, which gives us legion blacksmithing. So there you go. I've now got this quest, let's see, observe this guy as he attempts to work with a laystone ore. Fair enough then, I think this is just us watching it. While that goes on, I'll just click on blacksmithing, you can see here is my, uh, my legion stuff. Wait, if I go to Unlearned and then filter it to Legion Plans, I believe that should do everything. And this is a look at all of the Legion ore, and you can see there are different ranks in each. Um, now, those ranks will make those things perhaps have a better chance of procking a higher item level, or higher or different stats, whatever. Or maybe you um, craft them more efficiently. Generally, it's just incremental upgrades. That's stuff that we will be exploring, though, throughout this video. So, this guy is still talking, getting some lovely RP action. And, uh, yeah, grats, he, he blew up the Alliance place, but that makes no sense, because that is not where we are right now. Anyway, what can I do let's you? talk to this guy and see what the next quest is. So, this will teach us how to craft laystone arm guards and a waist guard. Great, so now these patterns have been learnt, and you can see I've got them unlocked at level 1. They take 24 laystone ore, and then a bunch of unbroken teeth, although this one will instead take some storm scale. So I've got some more quests, the Methods of the Night Fallen, so I need to obtain an entry, uh, an ancient Century Construct Memory Core from something, and then I've got Hate Coil Hammerwork, which asks me to obtain a Masterwork Hate Coil Breastplate and a pair of um, pauldrons. So this pretty much is all stuff that sends us out in the world to do something. If I look at Azuna, yeah, the Hate Coil Hammerwork stuff, this is assumingly just you know, killing mobs in um, those different areas. For mining, I actually have something to get some chewed um, ethereal stems. Actually, no, that's for, that's for herbalism. But yeah, it gives me quests out in the world right now. They're both in Asuna, so I'm going to head over to Asuna and uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Just to quickly have a look at the sort of default um, things that you already have alert for your character, there's a full set of laystone stuff. This is item level 700, and then there's this demon steel stuff. However, and the tooltips for it are not actually loading, which is a little bit unfortunate. Now we also have demon steel stirrups. These will um, these will allow you to interact while you are mounted. And then there's laystone hoof plates, which will increase mounted run speed by 20%. There are also various different relics for the relic slots of your artifact weapon, and then demon steel bars. I assume that is something similar to um, Titan Steel from Wrath of the Lich King, though we'll need to see how that actually pans out throughout these quests. Now this also does tell us how we are going to be able to unlock various different things, so as an example, if I look at the Demon Steel Waste Guard, the pattern for this costs 20 bars and 20 teeth from a vendor called Uriel in, um, in Suramar, 
Um, as an example, this costs 100 Demon Steel Bars. These are from the Hate Coil Hammerwork quest, which I'm doing now. So I just unlock that when I complete the quest in Dalaran. Um, as an example, like the Flame Spike. Actually, it doesn't have, um, doesn't have that uh, noted there. Um, another one, the uh, Demon Steel Bar. I learned that from the Art of Demon Steel in High Mountain. So basically, there's a bunch of quest content which will be sending me around the place. And that's how I'm going to be learning these various different recipes. So I'm now in this Naga area in Azuna, and quite simply, these Masterwork Hate Coil items are something that just drop from these guys when they're killed. Also, for some reason, I've noticed my Demon Hunter is really kind of weak in comparison to mobs. I don't know why that just popped up in the recent build. I think it might just be something to do with this character being old. Anyway, I'm going to go and uh, grind my way through some of these. All right, there's the first quest item, the, um, the pauldrons. Took about four or five mobs to kill that, so this is a very reasonable quest in the grand scheme of things. And with a whole bunch of other mobs dead, we finally have the breastplate. With that done, we just need to get the final item, which is the Ancient Sentry Construct Memory Core. Um, I assume that means killing some sort of sentry thing, but at any rate, it's going to be over in this, uh, like, kind of ruined night elf town. Next up, we've got this construct thingy, which is a mob of about 2 million HP. I assume that amount of health just, like, you know, scales to, um, to whatever le uh, level that you are because of the way that the Legion kind of zones and stuff work. That said, when you're popping metamorphosis and uh, eye beams and shit, uh, well, enemies tend to die pretty damn quick. All right, that's him killed. So we now have our memory core, which pretty much means, um, yeah, I assume I'm essentially good just to head back to um, head back to Dalaran. Yeah, both the blacksmithing quests are done. So off we go. While we're back at Dalaran, let's talk to this blacksmithing trainer and see what's going on. So that's the first quest in. I wonder if this will give us anything bar experience. It would seem not, but I assume this is all a part of some sort of quest chain that's going to eventually give us something. Ah, beginner laystone smithing, which gives us the pauldrons and breastplate. And now we have a follow-on quest to bring the ancient sentry construct memory thingy to somebody in Dalaran. Yeah. Right then, off we go. Yeah, hardly had to really go that far. We're into the engineering building. So we will talk to this guy. Fortunately, I've got a little bit of lag going on, which kind of sucks. So once we hand this in, what what does he do? Let's see, bring the data printout to another person in Dalaran. All right, and so I assume we've um, managed to equip whatever the hell was in that core. So this leads us into the inscription place to talk to this NPC. And we get a quest called Secrets of Laysmithing. So we need to bring the laysmithing guide all the way back to, um, to that blacksmithing dude. And then I assume we're going to get some sort of a reward or something from this. Well, that's the quest handed in. And uh, what do we get? Okay, a new quest. Obtain 10 fox flower. If you're not a herbalist, purchase it on the auction house or get it from another player. That's kind of interesting. I actually have fox flower on me because I used to do some herb stuff on this character. So that's really convenient. Well, with the fox flower obtained... We move on to the next bit of the quest, which is, ah, Fox fa uh, Flower Flux. So this is another crafting reagent, which will be coming, a reagent, which will be coming from the Herbalist. There's a little bit of interplay there between the two different professions, which is always nice to see. So I need to follow his recipes in my blacksmithing recipe list to build some handcrafted lay stone gauntlets. All right, then, yeah, you just... Uh, wants me to go and make some gauntlets for him then. All right, so this is some sort of training quest, actually. Now, I need to get a laystone cuff plate and uh, finger guard. So I need to use his laystone ore um, to make some laystone bars. So for that, we will need the forge. So I guess if I just what right-click on the forge, and then I should be able to make that. Looks like, yeah, we've got the, the forge, the anvil, the quenching um, trough, a few different things. Right, so let's use this to make ourselves some bars. We've kind of got a little bit more RP going on with this, I suppose. Maybe they're trying to make it feel a bit more like actual blacksmithing, as opposed to just going near an anvil, hitting a button, magically creating it. Maybe they're trying to put more steps in to um, increase the level of gameplay going on. Maybe. Who knows? I think that's, that's a cool idea, though it might get a little bit frustrating. Again, unfortunately, we do have a little bit of lag here, which is messing things up. Yeah, we've got all of our heated laystone bars made, so we'll be able to make the cuff plate and the, uh, the finger guard now. We'll just make one of each. So there's the cuff plate, and there's the finger guard. Once that's done, we're going to be able to make 
these um these gauntlets, which are completely useless. They're just a you know a quest item, right? For the sake of training, I need to go over to the workbench, I think, to make that. Yeah, so basically you're just going to have to move between things. Um I, I don't know, is that something they're going to continue, or maybe this is just a part of a part of this quest that's designed to give us a little bit of um, RP to it. So we'll talk to him again and turn in this quest, which is going to give us advanced lay smithing, which will allow us to make the boots, the helm, the gauntlets, and the greaves. So pretty much a full set of this lay stone gear. So next, we've got flower pickers and potion quaffers. Speak to Lindsay Blackbolt and some other person to secure a work order for foxflower flux. So I assume I need to head over to the herbalism people. Okay, so I'll talk to her. Blacksmith shop will need a regular supply of fox flour. Will you, or do you have any? So she says, of course, and they will get plenty. Right, maybe this is just a little bit of RP. And we also need to talk to this um, Black Bolt person who is just in here in the alchemy building. I don't know if there's actually going to be gameplay involved with this, but yeah, it seems like maybe the alchemists make the fox flour flux out, of course, um, out of the fox flower that the herbalists will end up making. And that's probably what's uh, what's going to be going on in terms of how you get that uh, that regent, reagent even, for Legion. So I'll hand this quest in, and I assume we will once again get another follow-up. Yes, this is to speak to Barm Stormbreaker in High Mountain. All right then, so if we're going to go to talk to that guy in High Mountain, I have to wonder whether we get that um, demon steel recipe from him. All right, well, we've made it over to High Mountain to have a bit of a chat with this NPC and see what the hell is going on. So, now I've talked to him, it says, use your blacksmithing skill to craft a pair of laystone gauntlets for him. Now, I assume they are not training gauntlets, they're the actual gauntlets, which, uh, yeah, it means I'm probably going to have to go off and uh, farm up some materials. Specifically, 20 stonehide leather and then 24 laystone ore. Might take a little bit of time because I'll probably need to get another character versed in skinning and go through all that rigmarole. Well, mailboxes are broken, so this character is now also a skinner. Had to give up the and give up the actual mining, which is a little bit unfortunate. But this will allow me to quite easily get the hide that I need to make these gauntlets. Well, I've got everything together, but the anvil has disappeared, so I suppose I'm off on a bit of a hunt. Okay, well, I finally found an anvil, so let's give this a crack and see what we get. There you go, a pair of item level, well, a pair of uh, laystone gauntlets, item level 700, that have rolled some haste and mastery. And that should pretty much be that quest done. So that's going to send me all the way back to High Mountain again. Well, we're back and it's time to see where this quest is going to lead. So, got a new quest to gather a whole bunch of stuff and craft some stuff. Pretty much just some, uh, some training stuff to do with this scrap metal, so... We need to pick up all of these scraps. So you know what? I'm just going to go pick up all this stuff. Maybe I'll speed up the footage and uh, I'll, I'll check back in once we're ready to actually just craft the items. Okay, so now I'm just down to the process of actually smelting this stuff up. Pretty simple, just making some items. I've already got enough to make the pan plate and the hand guard. So once all these small heated scrap metal things are dealt with, that should pretty much be me ready with this quest. I'm still wondering what is the point of these quests, which asks us to go to, like, you know, the Great Hoof Forge and then the Great Hoof Anvil and, like, put things together in different steps, because so far that's not been reflected in how any of the other actual crafting goes. I don't know, I think this is probably just a kind of role-playing, um, you know, thing to maybe give you the, the sort of the fantasy of, uh, of crafting stuff, I suppose. Anyway, time to head over to an anvil so I can make, um, all of these different items. I'll probably need to clean my infantry out first, though. So there's the cuff plate made. Now we just need to make the finger plates. I think I might need... To... Actually, no, no, I'm okay for resources. And, uh, yeah, now it's just making the, the hand guard and the pan plate. I'm pretty sure, based on what I have read of the, um, sort of the level up requirements for these, that, yeah, this iron horn lay smithing quest is actually going to give me the next rank in a whole bunch of different skills. Now, that's going to actually tell us what kind of upgrades we'll be seeing with increased ranks. So, let's talk to this guy, hand the quest in, and yeah, there we go, Iron Horn Lay Smithing. So, I will complete that, and we've just got Iron Horn, Horn Gauntlets at level 2. Now, what does level 2 give us? Right now, it's actually, yes, it's, it's taking far less um, reagents. That used to be 24 and 20, it's now down to 12 and 10. So, as you upgrade the quality 
of your recipe, it will take less to actually craft an item. So the next quest is called Greyheart, and it just asks us to go and get this big hammer from the High Mountain Tor, and I'm doing that will teach us how to make the Laystone Greaves rank 2. And I think this is, and I may as well do the quest, it's just over here, but I think this is somewhat indicative of how a lot of this blacksmithing progression is going to be. You have loads of different recipes. So if I just open up blacksmithing here, right, there's all my learned recipes currently, and then there's all my unlearned ones just from Legion. Now, each one of those, or at least a lot of those, have multiple ranks, and that's, you know, not including stuff that's maybe a raid drop or recipes that I'm going to have to purchase. There, you know, there could be more, right? It's just the alpha. So that's like, let's just say there was 20 or 30 different patterns which would contain ranks. Each one might have two, three, four quests, maybe five, depending on how many there are in a chain, to upgrade them fully. Now, that is going to mean a lot of quest content, actually, when it comes to the professions. And I think this does lead us to a pretty interesting discussion because for a lot of people, they are going to be interested only in getting the recipe and then crafting stuff because they want to make money. They don't care about the lore or anything like that. It's, you know, doing your AH goblin stuff, you know, playing the auction hours, crafting stuff, making money, whatever. Then there's the people who are just chilling out and playing this, uh, you know, just, just playing World of Warcraft, right? Being chill about it and uh, sort of not going super hardcore and things like that. I think this will be really great for them. Maybe the other people won't be so happy, but uh, yeah, certainly I think there are, there's a stronger lore here and there's certainly a lot more gameplay and just stuff to do with a system like this. And actually this is full of level 110 mobs, which I'm assuming are going to completely wreck me. So I've just went into metamorphosis. I'm going to disappear away. It doesn't look like we'll be able to really get any further here because um, well, these are all level 110 elites. Obviously not something that I can destroy at level 105. That would uh, turn out pretty badly for me, even in meta, I'm, I'm taking a lot of damage. So I think that's really about as far as we're going to get. Now, to conclude, what have we learned about how crafting is in Legion? Well, it used to be that you'd maybe just get a bunch of some sort of resource, and then you would use that as a currency to purchase a crafting recipe. I mean, we had the stuff going on in Warlords of Draenor, where you'd be handing in, say, the burnished leathers to get leatherworking recipes, stuff like that. Well, in Legion, that's pretty much all driven by quest content. So, you know, these um, Laystone Waste Guards, as you can see, if I want to upgrade that, I need to do a quest called Between the Hammer, which is in Val Shiraf. If I want to upgrade the Helm, I need to do Laystone Mastery in High Mountain. If I want to upgrade the Boots, I need to do the Smith Under Fire quest in Suramar. That's pretty much how that's going to be going. And it doesn't actually say what the next rank is to get to rank three of the Laystone Gauntlet, so I'm assuming that's not yet implemented. But essentially, it's a similar -ish system, but you're going to have to grind up your different ranks and by doing quest content if you want to be able to craft them efficiently. Now, if you're interested in making money, then that will pretty much be needed. Another thing you'll notice is there are loads of different crafting reagents. I think each one of these is actually using a different one um, to, to create it. So like that storm scale, the gauntlets are leather. Now, these so far seem to tie into the other different professions. What I can gather, then, is that there are more reagent links between the different gathering professions in Legion. I think that's actually a really good thing because it creates a economy of more links between different things. And, uh, you know, that leads to more player interaction, more auction house shenanigans, lots of good stuff. In terms of the stuff that is just sitting here, I've already went through them, but you know, you've got your stuff to make your uh, your mounting faster. We've got some presumably level 110 gear. That's also using the Blood of Sagaris. That's kind of like uh, like a universal Arctic fur. Um, what was it called in, in Warlords of Draenor? The, uh, uh, the Savage Bloods, right? So the Blood of Sagaris, basically it's a Savage Blood. You know, and then we've got the different relics, which we can slot into our artifact weapon. And then what I'm assuming is just going to be similar to a Titan Steel bar or, you know, the, the kind of big expensive metal bar that each expansion seems to have. And I guess that pretty much is it. That's that's what we've learned. I um, mean, you, know, you do have a nice UI here that they've upgraded so you can filter via different things. You've got a search that you can enter. And of course, it's split into learned and unlearned, which is definitely quite handy indeed. But anyway, that is a bit of a look at the crafting professions. Certainly, they seem to be following a similar pattern to the gathering professions. And I know I've done this with blacksmithing, but I think it's safe to say that the other sort of crafting professions will follow suit. Let me know what you think about this system down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I will see you next time.